Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is place value of decimals. So this is uh, lesson 3-2. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. We'll talk about that at the end. So our question here is how do we read, write, and then represent decimals through thousands? THS. These all end in a THS. All right, this picture is kind of hard to see here. It's a picture of our uh, solar system right here. Uh, in 2013, asteroid 1998 QED came very close to Earth. It is 1.726 miles long, about the same size of the asteroid that killed off the dinosaurs. So I don't know if you can see this right here. Right here is Earth right here. And then so here's that asteroid. In fact, let me, let me, uh, let me see if I can enlarge that for you so you can see what it's talking about right there. Okay, so it came really close to our Earth uh, in May of 19, uh, uh, the end of May of 2013 right there. So that asteroid right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, so to understand this distance, the distance of the asteroid, we need to understand the place value of each digit in 1.726, okay? So we can use a place value chart to understand decimals. Whole numbers are always to the left of the decimal points. Here's a whole number, one. Okay, decimals are to the right of the decimal points. So these are all the decimal points right here. It depends on, is it the first place to the right, the second place to the right, or the third place to the right, okay? Okay, and then uh, the thousandths place, which is this six right here, the thousandths place is to the right of the hundredths place, hundredths, T-H-S which is that two, and that hundredths place is to the right of the tenths place, which is that seven right there. So here it is right here. So this is 1.726, and decimals is read as the word and, A-N-D. So this says one and 726 thousandths, okay? So uh, the one is one times one, okay? And then the seven is seven times one tenth, because it's a tenth right there. And 7 times 1 tenth is 0.7. That's where we got that 0.7 right there. This is uh, 2 times 1 hundredth, so it's 2 times 1 over 100, which is 0 0.02. Notice this is in the, the hundredth spot. Okay, can you guess this one? This is going to be 6 times 1 thousandth. Okay, so 6 times 1 thousandth would be 0 0.006. And if we added all these together, uh, it would get us 1.726. So the place value of the 6 in the 1.726 is in the in the thousandths spot right here, okay? And the 2 is in the hundredths spot, and the 7 is in the tenths spot. So the value of the 6 is, uh, in the 1.726 is 6 times uh, 1 thousandth, okay? 1 over 1,000 is 1 thousandth, or 0 0.006, okay? I try not to say 0 .006 because O is a letter, 0 is a number, but that's my little pet peeve anyway. So standard form is 1.726, like we've all written that right there. So word form is, notice uh, this is the decimal, the word and. So it says 1 and 726, and it ends in the thousand. So 1 and 726 thousandths, okay? You always say a two-digit number with a hyphen right there, so here's 26, okay? All right, and then the expanded form is uh, 1 times 1 plus this um, uh, 7 times 1 tenth plus this 2 times 1 over 100 plus 6 times 1 over 1,000. That's what this says right here, okay? All right, uh, let's see. So explain how the, the value of the last digit in the decimal can help us read a decimal. Well, okay, if it ends in the thousandths spot, then our, our word sentence uh, will end in the thousandths spot. So the position tells us how to end our word form sentence. So this says one and one and 726, and this ends in the thousandths, so it ends in thousands right there. All right, so let's try this, you guys. So now we're going to use place value to read and write these. So in standard form, this says uh, three and this ends in the tenths. This is the hundredths, so this would be 37 hundredths right there, okay? And then so this is going to be um, three times one plus, okay, and then it's going to be uh, three, this three right here times one tenth, and this is going to be seven times one one hundredth right there, okay? So there it is in expanded form. All right, let's try this here. This says four and five hundred twelve thousandths. So this is going to be four decimal 
and then write the number 512. That'll be right there. So 4.512. Okay. And then expanded form. This is going to be 4 times 1. Here's the 5 times 1 tenth because it ends in it ends in the tenth position. This is the hundredth, so this will be 1 times 1 hundredth. Let's go ahead and do that right here. Okay, and then this is in the thousandth, so this will be 2 times uh, 1 thousandth. Okay, easy, huh? All right, let's try this, you guys. So uh, we're going to use place value chart again. So uh, spider silk is a protein fiber. Uh, spun by spiders. The silk spun by a common gar garden spider is about uh, 0.003 millimeters thick. So this says three thousandths of a millimeter thick. A commonly used sewing thread is about uh, three tenths of a meter thick. So 0.3 a millimeter thick. Okay. How does the thickness of the spider silk and the thread compare? Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to write the numbers in the place values. Okay. So let's write. Uh, there's the spider silk and the and the sewing thread right there. Let me slide that up right here. Now we're going to count the number of decimal places, uh, place value positions to. Uh, to each digit three, okay. So here, uh, to get to this three is um, it went, there's one place, two place, three place. To get to this three is only one place right there, okay. So uh, 0.3 has how many fewer decimal place values? It has two fewer uh, decimal place values. So two fewer places means it's 10 times 10 or 100. So 0 0.3 is 100 times as much as uh, 0 0.003. Or 0 0.003 is how much of 0.3? Well, if this is 100 times, then this is going to be 100th or 1 over 100 right there. Okay? All right. So the thread is uh, 100 times as thick as the garden spider. And the thickness of the garden spider's silk is uh, uh, 100th of that of the thread right there. All right, we can use place value to rename a decimal. So let's try this. We're going to use the place value patterns to rename uh, 0 0.7 or 7 tenths using other place values. Okay, so here it is right here. When we're talking, and I'm highlighting the decimals right here. So this is we're just looking at uh, the 0 0.7 right here. This is 7 tenths because it ends in the tenths spot. So 7 tenths and 7 times 1 over 10. And you're thinking, yeah, that's pretty easy. Okay, this is um, this is that we're talking about these two digits right here. So this ends in the hundredth spot. So this is read as 70 hundredths. They're the same decimal, but it depends on, you'll find out later, your, your teachers might ask you, round it to the nearest hundredths spot. So this would be 70 hundredths, and this would be 70 times one hundredth right there. All right. Now this one is that they want us to go all the way out to this decimal. So this is the thousandths decimal. So we're going to write this as 700 thousandths right there. Okay. And that's 700 times one over a thousand right there. All right. So uh, what is the word form of uh, uh, 0 0.300? 0. Okay. So we got to see where does this end right here? My daughter just left for work. So, uh, so this ends in the thousandth spot. We have a squeaky door. I need to fix that. Uh, anyway, so uh, it ends in the thousandth spot, so it's 300 thousandths. So in expanded form, it would be 300 times 1 over 1,000. Okay. Hey, uh, all your lessons can be found at, uh, at MrMathBlog.com. And then if you click fifth grade math, let me show you that real quick, you guys. Okay, so if I go over here and I put in um, www.MrMathBlog, okay, so uh, right there. Okay, it'll take you to this web page. Let me get rid of this here. Okay, and then right here at the top is all the classes right here. This is all my high school classes, you guys. And so I taught, here's fourth grade. You guys did that last year. Here's third grade. That's done. Fifth grade is right over there. So it just depends on the order I did it. I did fourth grade uh, first with good, uh, you guys. And then I did third grade last year, and now I'm working on fifth grade. So if we click fifth grade right here, you'll see your whole class right here. So I'm I'm just, you know, I'm just loading this lesson right now as I speak. Okay, so here's chapter one. You just click all the lessons. You guys probably, most of you guys have done that. Here's a review for the test right here. Okay, and then here's chapter two in a different color. Here's chapter three. So we're doing, so if you clicked this lesson, it's not loaded in there yet until I'm done uh, speaking with you guys. That would be this lesson right here. Okay, all right, you guys, take care.